Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best 400k team right now in FIFA 21 if you guys are looking for a team to absolutely demolish and destroy your opponents in division rivals and foot champions then this is the squad builder for you a lot of people have been in my Instagram DMs and in uh, commenting under my YouTube videos to build them a 400k team for, so I thought why not just uh, make a video on that but with that being said before i do go ahead and dive into this insane squad build i got a quick little message for you guys so let me get straight into it if you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder yes that's right guys you heard correctly if you want me to build your own personal squad builder all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you guys have to do is simply like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications all right and once you've done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my instagram follow my instagram and then send me that um dm me that's screenshot of you following the steps and once you guys have shown me that i will then build your squad it's literally that easy it's literally that simple and you can end up like these guys So it's literally that simple guys so make sure you follow the steps if you guys want me to build you your own personal squad but with that being said i hope you do end up enjoying this video without further ado let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go okay guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 400k team the formation that you guys want to use is indeed the 4-3-2-1 formation that is only just to get everyone on full chemistry there's a there's a different formation which i'll show um you guys at the end of the video that you guys should use in a game right so you don't want to actually use this formation in game you just want to set up in this formation just to make sure everyone is on full chemistry but with that being said let's waste no more time and get straight in towards the first player of this incredible 400k team and in the striker position we do have a very very overpowered player in this game and he goes by the name of Gabriel Jesus he is absolutely incredible in this game and um yeah I've used him once before um for, for a period of games and I really enjoyed using him man he is he is absolutely incredible and I just feel like he fits the meta of this game I don't know what it is about Jesus but he he just is very very overpowered he's got high high work rates four star skill moves yes he only does have three star skill moves but I'll be honest you don't really notice it that much um because his finishing in game is just absolutely ridiculous like he's, it says that he's got 85 finishing but it feels like 90 finishing it's absolutely it's just it's crazy bros it really is crazy and another thing that i do like about gabriel jesus is the fact that he's super super agile and got amazing dribbling stats he's got 91 agility 90 balance um 86 ball control and 86 dribbling as well and a decent amount of pace but overall man just as a player in this game jesus is absolutely incredible so that is why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up gabriel jesus but with that being said let's move on in towards the right foot forward spot and in this position ladies and gentlemen we do have an absolute beast bros a sweaty sweaty player in this game he goes by the name of Gareth Bell he did get downgrade from last FIFA but still he is just one of the best right wingers in this game at this point in time of FIFA man he is incredible I really really do like him he's still got the pace of him. he's still got the, the shooting on this guy the finishing on this guy is absolutely crazy man it, it's just ridiculous if you, if you get a chance on his left foot it's going to hit the back of the net it's literally that simple but as you guys can see man he's got 86 acceleration and 89 sprint speed he's got 81 finishing but like i said man in game that finishing feels so much more higher than that um he's got 90 shot power and 87 long shots 80 dribbling 83 ball control and 78 agility and again the agility i would say feels a little bit better in game and that goes for the for the dribbling and ball control as well but honestly man once you guys actually play with gareth bell on that right hand side you guys are going to see as to how lethal and how dangerous this guy is man it's just ridiculous man he really is a very overpowered card in this game so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but to complete the attacking trio um we do have Vinicius Jr um in the left forward spot and he's actually become my favorite left winger right now in this game I just love him to bits I really do just love him to bits I think he is the best left winger that I've used so far in this game and he he's just ridiculous I don't know what it is about him but he's just crazy he really is he's pacey he's got the skill moves he's got the weak foot he's got the dribbling the agility the ball control everything about this guy is, is just insane and even his finishing in game as well is actually very good and i'm talking from experience if you guys haven't seen i don't know what squad was i think it was my 
my 200k team if you guys want to see some gameplay of Vinicius Jr I'll leave a link to the 200k team down below in the description but check that out check that video out um he was in that 200k squad builder and I just showed look I just showed loads of gameplay in that video so if you want to see um Vinicius Jr some gameplay of him make sure you check that out but you guys will see if you do end up watching that video that his finishing is so much better than 68 it's ridiculous he's clinical his dribbling is insane his sprint speed obviously is ridiculous he's just a very very good player in this game so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up he's got five star skill moves and four star weak foot as well and yeah when you end up using this guy you'll understand as to how insane he really is but with that being said that does complete the attacking lineup let's move on in towards the midfield and quickly one thing i want to say if you guys are able to afford this team which is probably why you're watching this video then you're lucky because not even i have i don't even have 400k yet i can't pack anything literally the most i've got is 200k it's it's it's, it's crazy i've literally done um, both advanced SBCs and I've got nothing no walkouts nothing not even good boards it's it's, it's just ridiculous but anyways we, we move boys we move so in towards the left centre mid spot we go we actually do have Casemiro and he's going to be the anchor of the midfield he's going to be the stud the rock the player that's going to be winning you the ball back winning that midfield battle Um, yeah he, he's he's um very very insane in this game and defensively absolutely ridiculous bros his defending stats are crazy as you guys can see he's got um, 87 interceptions, 84 defensive awareness, 88 standing tackle, 87 slide tackle, um, and 90 stamina and 91 strength as well as 91 aggression. Man, defensively he is ridiculous and um, yeah, like I said, he's just gonna be that defensive-minded midfielder, the anchor, the rock in the team. Yeah, just make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up because he is crucial to making this team work as well, man. You need that defensive-minded midfielder in the team. But in the right centre mid spot, we do have the slightly more box-to-box, -box, powerful, beastly player in the name of um Musa Sissoko, man. A very, very overpowered card again this FIFA, just like last year he started pretty expensive in this FIFA he has started pretty expensive as well and I can understand why man he's a very very good card um and I've actually just noticed something I've actually chosen the wrong bill my bad guys make sure you get the, the, the um the Tottenham version of Gareth Bell I don't know how I didn't see that but when I saw that he didn't that Sissoko didn't link to Bell I was thinking what the hell is going on so make sure you guys just go ahead and pick up the Tottenham version of Gareth Bell to make the chemistry work. But back to Musa Sissoko, we go. Um, yeah, he's a very good well rounded midfielder, box-to-box -box type, just very fast, powerful, strong. Um, and yeah, again, he's going to support Casemiro in the midfield. Um, he's got decent dribbling and ball control, um, good defending and decent at attacking as well. But overall, man, he's a very, very good well rounded player. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. But in the central centre mid spot, we actually do have a striker who in the formation change will be will be playing cam but he's in here for chemistry reasons and it actually he actually goes by the name of um richarlison and richarlison in this game man is ridiculous i love him to bits he's got four star skill moves five star weak foot that already man just just that already just makes him that bit um like extra better than than anyone else man because the fact that he's five star weak foot just means that he's so unpredictable and players that you're playing against won't know what foot you you want to shoot on because at the end of the day he doesn't really have a weak foot because he's got five star weak foot so yeah it's just crazy man and that already just gives you that advantage in attack but as you can see man he's got 86 sprint speed and 79 acceleration as well as um 82 finishing um 84 dribbling 80 ball control and 70 agility i would say again in game um he outperforms his stats like he feels much better in game than the stats do suggest so that is just something i'd keep in mind but with that being said let's move on in towards the defense now so in um the right back spot we actually do have Mukieli. Um, and yeah, Mukieli, man, the best French right back in this game. He isn't the fastest, but he's still very, very overpowered in the game. And defensively, he is very, very good. Um, I've used him before. Again, I really enjoyed using him. As you guys can see, man, he's got 87 sprint speed. So he's actually pacey, but because of uh, um, his acceleration, he kind of starts off slower. But then gradually over a long distance, his pace will increase. So that is the good thing about Mukieli. But um, yeah, as you guys can see, his defending stats are very, very overpowered, man. Yeah, uh, he is because I think last FIFA he was actually a centre back. Um, so yeah, he's still got like those good defensive abilities about him. So he's a very, very good right back option to use in this game because he's got that little bit of pace about him and he's incredibly good at defending. So yeah, make sure you guys go in and get Mukieli. He will get you a very, very good job done in that right back spot. But with that being said, let's move on in towards the left back position. And we do just have a cheap beast when he goes by the name of Kamara. Um, Kamara is absolutely insane in this game, man. A player that I've used this FIFA 
quite a bit at the very, very start of it. And I loved him to bits, man. He's pacey, very, very good at defending, powerful. Um, yeah, he just gets the job done. He does what he needs to do in that left back spot. And that is why I do like him. As you guys can see, he's got 89 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, and decent defending stats as well. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. You guys will not regret that. But with that being said, let's move on in towards the center back spot. So we're going to start off with the left center back. And in this position, we do have Presnel Kimpempe. And I can hands down say that this is just my favorite center back in the game right now bros honestly i've had him pretty much since day one of playing this game um and i love him to bits i really do as you guys can see man he's played 36 games for me um i just he is just crazy he really is crazy so so overpowered it's absolutely ridiculous he's got that little bit of pace about him he's got 74 sprint speed 72 acceleration um and his defending stats you know on paper they don't look the best but i'm telling you once you get in game you're gonna see as to how overpowered kim Pempe is man because i absolutely love this guy to bits i don't even want to take him up my team Team. honestly i just want to have him in there forever because he, he just works so well for me it's ridiculous so make sure you guys go ahead and get him you guys will not regret that decision i'm telling you guys and um yeah by the way remember make sure you guys get richarlison as a center mid right make sure you guys do that i know it has like an extra five 5k to the value of the team but yeah just make sure you guys get richarlison as a as a camel center mid um for chemistry reasons and uh, yeah that's all i wanted to say but with that being said um in the right center back spot we do have clemore longley again another overpowered player in this team that we do have man he is probably one of the most expect i think yeah he actually is one of the most expensive players in this team um but yeah definitely one of the best players in this team man he really is effective in this game a very very good center back kind of like last year um but yeah he's just crazy man he's got 72 uh sprint speed 76 acceleration 87 interceptions 90 defensive awareness 86 standing tackle 81 slide tackle 83 strength he he, he is just um, a very very good player um, in this game so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up and to complete this incredible 400k squad builder in the goalkeeper spot we do just have a cheap little french beast and he is actually my current goalkeeper and again this is a keeper that i absolutely love in this game so that is why i'm going to recommend him to you guys because he is absolutely insane and again you guys will see man he's played 42 games for me i love this guy to bits i really do love him to bits he's absolutely insane he will make you guys a lot of saves so yeah make sure you guys um, go ahead and pick him up but that does complete the incredible 400k team as you guys can see on your screens right now but we're not done here yet i'm going to show you guys what formation to change to in game remember guys as a center mid or cam for full chemistry but now let's move on into the formation change so the formation that you guys want to use in game is actually the 4 2 3 1 formation all right bros use this formation and you're just going to start winning games left right and center so in this formation if you wanted to you could actually play richarlison out wide and pay and play um, and play gareth bell um in the cam position but i recommend you guys do this vinicius jr left cam jesus up top richarlison cam um Gareth Bell in the right cam spot, Musa Sissoko, CDM along with Casemiro and then the defence would stay the same. So that's how you guys want to set up in game. But let me know, ladies and gentlemen, will you guys be picking up this team? Let me know your thoughts on this team. Me personally, I think this team was incredible and I think it will boost up your wins by a crazy amount. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications as well. And uh, follow the steps if you guys want me to build your own personal squad builder. Um, and yeah, it's it's literally that simple i hope you guys did enjoy the video um stay tuned for more regular uploads but with that being said it's been your boy rb plays and i will catch you in the next one peace out baby